Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the May League Go Daily Challenge. May the fourth be with you, I suppose. Is that button? Oh, it kind of got moved or something. Anyway, hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this bomb, Dota 2 Senate. I think this was actually one of the earliest bomb I ever solved on League Code, uh, mostly because, you know, I am a, a, especially like four years ago or whatever, I used to watch a lot of Dota, so. Uh, so yeah, all right. That's but I don't remember the problem though. I just remember Dota because you know it's Dota. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's see. The, uh, let's see what this problem is about. Okay, so duh, 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 duh. each round, each senator can exercise one of two rights. Ban one senator's right. Okay, now doesn't lose all his rights in this and all following rounds. So basically, like. Kick someone out, maybe. And now it's victory. If the senator the found the just did it. Okay. Okay. I mean, I feel like this seems like um, a heuristic type uh, problem. Um, and way, I think, without really thinking about it quite deeply yet, uh, my surface intuition is that it's going to be greedy. But um, but you know, greedy is just a word, right? Greedy is. A word is, is something that describes an algorithm, but it's not the solution, right? And what I mean by that is that there's so many ways to kind of be greedy. And part of greedy, when people talk about it, is based off intuition. But not everyone has the same intuition. And and sometimes your intuition is just wrong. So, so that part is interesting. All right, so let's kind of think about this a little bit. Uh, da, 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 and then third can ban the first, and then round two. Okay, so basically, <clears throat> basically, I think that uh, I mean the first principle makes sense, right? So you, so you want to ban someone from the other party. I mean, duh, right? Like otherwise, uh, yeah. Uh, is it majority wins? Oh no, you have to get, you have to have quote unquote killed everybody. Uh, right, yeah, so it's not just majority, okay, um, so you have, to, you want to get someone on the other party, and then the other thing to greedy on is that you, if possible, you want to ban someone who, um, who still has a vote, right, because that means that they'll ban one fewer in this particular round. Um, and you know you you want to do that as early as possible, maybe. Yeah, no, I mean, cause, cause, um, and you could kind of prove to yourself that if you really want to by using the exchange argument, right? Meaning that, um, you know, if if you have something like like uh, DRD, and then you're at the R, and you could ban either the D. Or the or the, the second the first D or the second D and here if you ban the second D, uh, then the, the second round goes. Otherwise, if you ban this D, then the D will just ban your R or something like this, right? So you can kind of it's not quite the exchange argument that is as it is traditionally used, but it is kind of that argument of okay, well you have two choices. How do they affect future outcomes, right? Uh, Bowing it down, okay. Um. <laughs> I think the other thing that you can kind of think about is that I mean right, we're, right now we're, we're talking about rounds you know we're going like one round two round three round but really it um, but really you can just use a queue right like a circular queue because the rounds that actually doesn't matter because the the step two the announced the victory doesn't end at like the the uh, the rounds really don't matter right there's no no rules that really determine what matters at well there could be a natural um, break at the end of everything anyway right uh, at the end of every step and not every round so the rounds don't matter so I'm just gonna use a queue to represent this um, right so I'm gonna do two things first one is R is you go to uh, send it that count of R. Uh, what's the other one? Dire. Send it that count of D. Um, right. And then now, maybe for X in Senate, <clears throat> we have a Q, right? 
<coughs> For X and send it Q dot append X. This is just to populate it. I don't know if you maybe you could just I don't know if you could just do something like this, but eh, maybe. Uh, maybe that's fine. Let's see. Let's put it out. At worst, Larry learned something new. Okay, that actually works. So okay, fine. Uh, okay. And then basically, the idea is just having a buffer, right? So basically, while we have while r is greater than zero and d is greater than zero. Um, okay, so then if if q of zero is you go to r, then you pop a d. And uh, how do I want to represent it? I mean, you could do it in a couple of ways. Um, let's just say PD for pending D is equal to zero. Uh, PR for pending R is equal to zero. So if this is that, then PD we increment by one. Um, maybe. This is not quite right, right? Because if PR is equal to zero, then that means that um, this one we, we, we add a pending to the D. Otherwise, PR subtract by one. Because that means that it got voted previously off, right? That's basically what this is saying. Um, and here, let me let me think about this for a second. Um, if this is zero, and that means that we this person wrote it, and if this person wrote it, then we want to. Um, I think there's a rotate thing too, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, so you could actually maybe do this in one line or one up. It's not right, right, one operation. It's just one function. But eh, for now, the idea is still the same, right? Uh, and then from here, I think we can do the same for, for the, the other uh, thing, right? And also, if we... This is zero. That means that... Okay. And this means that we removed one R, so then we can subtract R, right? And then else... I guess else... Then it's, it's equal to a D... And then if PD is equal to zero, then again, we rotate this to the end, but not before we set PR is equal to one. And then else PD minus one, a D, duh, 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 right? And then at the way end, if R is zero, then we return radian, else we return dire. I think that should be okay, maybe. Looks okay here, but these two examples are kind of crappy, to be honest. Uh, you know, these are very simple things. I don't know that, you know, it's it, it's uh, indicative of what we want. Uh, but uh, it looks okay. Let's just give it some minute and YOLO. Oh, no. Maybe I misunderstood this then. I'll put radian. That doesn't make sense. Maybe I have typos though. It's very easy to typo. Huh. But okay, so... Da -da 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 -da. So the first one... It, is a D, right? So it goes here. PD is zero. Da 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 da, right? Huh. I do. I I might have. I I may have missed a case. The case that I might have missed is. Is that um, this should be this minus minus PR and this minus PD? Hmm. Oh, well, then I have to change the sensor. That's all. Sorry. Oh, okay. The reason it is basically, um, oh wait, that wasn't a case that I got wrong. What was the case that I got wrong? But basically, yeah, maybe I could have stayed this in a little bit better. Um, hmm, still wrong. Why is that? But basically, okay, so, hmm. So if the first one was D, then we pop and then we put it at the end, that's fine, and then we set PR is equal to 1. Right? Alright, let, let's just print it out. I'm confused. Q, R, P, R, D, P, D. I'm confused by mom. Hmm. Alright, so we start with 3R and 3D, okay? The D gets popped, the D gets popped. Oh, I am dumb. 
I forgot the actual. Uh, yeah, okay. I forgot to pop left on removing the other ones. Um, and because that means that everything pops left, I can move it here. Wow, that is a very silly mistake. All right, let's give it some minute. Oh, and, I, and now I'll put limited because I forgot to remove the print statement. A lot of silly mistakes today, apparently. Luckily, this is not the contest. Uh, but yeah, the the big thing that I missed was that I just forgot to delete uh, off all of these things. I just forgot to delete and remove it from the queue. I don't know. Larry's just being dumb today. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. To be honest, so what, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to think like, and how do I prevent myself? Like, am I what? Uh, one thing that I, I do want to think about. Uh, oh, I did it with mask in the past. Mask in the past. Oh, with Delta. I mean, same idea. But um, the thing that I'm trying to think about is like, how do I improve myself? Right. I mean, you know, you saw me make two silly mistakes, and okay, fine. Yeah, they are silly mistakes, but. And I'm trying to figure out like why it is, right? Like, is it because I'm explaining? And sometimes I do make mistakes on on this kind of stream where I am explaining while coding because, to be frank, uh, I just forget stuff, right? Like, I'm like, oh, I need to do this. I need, like, when if I'm typing, when I'm coding for a contest um, or like normally or whatever, sometimes I have like five or six things in my head and then I, I like kind of, clear the buffer as fast as I can. But when I'm talking, sometimes I'd like delay that buffer uh, clearing because I'm like, hey, this, this does a, a, this does X, Y, Z. And that's why, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, but, but sometimes after I talk, I forget like one of the steps, like in this case, right? Um, and maybe that's okay if that doesn't affect my quote-unquote real performance. But it's still like, you know, like I mean, I'm not embarrassed by it. Like people make mistakes all the time, right? Uh, you know, um, being a good engineer, is not necessary about not making mistakes. And those of you who strive to be a senior engineer will know this, it, uh, will hopefully get to it anyway. Um, is is not is not making a mistake is getting your system in a way such that when mistakes happen, um, the impact is minimalized, right? Um, and in this case, I guess in that world, I'm just trying to figure of like, I mean, yeah, you know, this doesn't matter in grammar skill things, but I'm, but but. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I am still, you know, hoping to do better. Like I'm not like, you know, like I'm always pushing myself in a little bit. Eh, maybe not always, but you know, but I see something silly. So I don't know. I mean, the print statement was just print statement. I just rushed it after spotting it and forgot to run it again. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. So what is the complexity here, right? Um, it's tempting to say linear, but it is clearly not. Um, the easy answer is going to be n log n. Um, maybe, huh? Actually, maybe I'm wrong on this one. Initially, I thought it was gonna be n log n because the idea is that uh, maybe it still is though. Because my let me let me let me have a case for a second. Um, so my, the the case for n log n is just that if you have n items uh, n people in the Senate uh, and every iteration. Uh, every round, if you will, it, it will you, you eliminate half the people, and in that case, uh, and in that case, well, it's just going to be n log n because there will be log n rounds, right? So this should be n log n time and all of n space for the queue. Um, but I think, and I think you can do this with uh, something like this. And I think that would you maybe and maybe like some variation of this. I, I don't know how to like interleaving it so that you can't get one. But you could see that if I did something like this, um, D will eliminate R, R will eliminate D, and then you know you have something like this. Um, I don't know how to kind of expand it to more iterations because after the second but round this would like you know all blow up. But in theory, right? So I don't know. But I'm I'm kind of say that is n log n, even though I don't have a case i mean i'm sure you could construct a case um backwards because like even from here um yeah you construct it here and then now you you can backward construct a case that gives you this answer after the first iteration um so maybe like even the and i don't know right but you can so i think it's gonna be n log n and that's pretty much it 
and log n time of n space and that's all I have for this one hmm still a lot what a silly mistake huh but you know my intuition was right in that the exam was a like crap uh, I mean not that the examples are bad it's just that they're bad for validating whether you're 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 correct or not so all right anyway um that is all I have for this one let me know what you think and yeah stay good stay healthy to your mental health I'll see y'all later take care bye bye